I want to turn to the opioid crisis. The Wall Street Journal has an article titled, Opioid Crisis Emerges as Dominant Campaign Theme. The Department of Health and Human Services granting $1 billion this week to fight this opioid crisis. Can you tell us where that money is going, how it's being spent? You bet. So the president's been providing decisive leadership here, highlighting and really making this a central issue for the country, the opioid epidemic that is devastating so many families, so many communities across every generation. And just yesterday, uh, we released a billion dollars of aid to state and local governments that help provide resources for prevention, for treatment for recovery. This is going to help people get into medication assisted treatment so they can break the cycle of addiction. It's going to help states in controlling the flow of legal and illegal opioids. So this is vital relief around the country for all those suffering from this massive epidemic. And I, I think that you'll agree with this, Mr. Secretary. If, some, if a doctor tries to prescribe you opioids for the first time, you need to push back on that. It really starts with the individual in this country. It's really important that everybody have a very detailed discussion with their doctor about what they're being prescribed and why they're being right. prescribed. And, you know, we're seeing really positive signs, although we have a long way to go. We've seen a reduction in the prescribing rates for legal opioids. We've seen a 264 percent increase since the president took office of naloxone prescriptions, which are those drugs, the overdose reversing drugs. And we've seen from 2016 to 2017 a 50 percent reduction in heroin use in this country. So we've got a long way to go. We didn't get in this overnight, but we are making progress all working together across our communities. Mr. Secretary, Secretary of Health and Human Services, Alex Azar, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.